Isaiah, did you know dogs can get depressed? I've seen some pretty sad looking dogs. Yeah. You ever get worried that Jim, the dog, is depressed? No. I've, I think about that for Zafira, the dog, sometimes. Jim's a happy boy. He doesn't do much. Yeah. But he likes it that way. <laughs> he likes to relax. Can Big be relaxer. Because sure? he's a basset out. You can just tell just by his own little aura that he's got going on. Oh, okay. He prefers to lay and just rest. I, I Sometimes I look at Zafira, my dog, and I think... Is, Your dog should be high energy. What's going on in there? Yeah. Yeah, like she you is should be taking energy. your. She, you should be taking her to like the mountains. Yeah, on um, walks and stuff. In the river. Yeah, in the river. Let she her be swim like around. Fjording things. Um, yeah, sometimes I worry, and uh, I I think my worries they may be well founded here because so the the American Kennel Club says that dogs do experience mental health issues similar to depression, and I have three things here that you could possibly be doing. This is according to. Up labs that could be contributing to your dog being depressed. Number one, if they aren't getting enough exercise, dogs are active creatures. And so if you're not getting your dog out there, letting it go on walks or run around the backyard, chase stuff, taking it to the dog park, whatever, if you're not doing that frequently enough, that could be, could, could be contributing to your dog having mental health problems. It's dog to dog. Yeah. Some dogs need a lot. Mm -hmm. Some dogs, like my dog Jim, need just a little. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. That could be maybe now he's okay. Maybe in the future. Maybe it compounds on itself, you know? We could see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That's we'll tackle one. that when we get there. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, Zafira, I let her run around the backyard all the time to try to get her. Make sure she's up and at him. Uh, number two. Another thing you could be doing to possibly make your dog depressed is if you're not respecting your dog's boundaries. I was looking at this. I think this is particularly if you have kids because they're just basically saying, like, if your dog gets up and walks away, that means it wants some alone time or it just wants to be away from you. And if you follow it around, dogs need, need boundaries. Like, they need space, too. They need alone time, too. And so if you're following it around, but what kind of adult would do that? I don't know, because there's, I will say, Jim, uh -huh. he is like the most incredibly annoying dog of all time. Mm -hmm. He won't leave you alone. I've never had him. He's I've making never, you depressed, he is, it sounds like. He's all over me. Yeah. He is smothering me 24-7, smothering everyone in the house. Mm -hmm. So I've never had a time where I felt, where I even chased him around. If he walks yeah, away from me, to. if I can even find a time where he's not looking at me, I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness. My dog's being normal for a little bit. So I'm, but there's people that have dogs. They're a little more low key. They're a little bit more independent. Yeah. My dog, not independent whatsoever. He's like a newborn child. <laughs> um, but if you have one of those more independent dogs, sometimes people want them to smother. Yeah. They them. want the lap dog attention. Yes. Which, and if the let dogs are given the attention. You don't want it. <laughs> yeah. It's too much. Uh, okay, here's the last one. The last thing that you could be doing that might be making your dog have mental health issues, and that is scolding your dog for things they don't understand. If you're, if you're yelling at your dog when you come home from work or whatever, saying, why did you tear this thing up? But he did that hours ago, so he doesn't even know what you're talking about. Dogs don't have that kind of, they can't make that connection. So if you aren't, like, a great example is if you're just punishing your dog or yelling at it, getting upset, but for something it did a long time ago, I came back from vacation. Sophia the dog had peed on my bed while I was gone. I couldn't yell at her for that. I just passive aggressively. But you did anyway. Yeah, I you did, did anyway. I did because I was upset. So yeah, she did. might be very depressed, depressed at this point. Well, yesterday I yelled at Jim, but that's because I, I made myself a PB and J, uh -huh. and when I turned my back to him to rinse off the the knife, mm -hmm. snagged it, ate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Had to make another one. And you had to dirty the knife again. Exactly. Yeah, but that, after I had rinsed that it, that was in too. the moment. That was in the moment. So, so then I turned okay. around, and that was like the ultimate betrayal. I turned my back to you for ten seconds. Yeah. You've been planning this. This is premeditated for for minutes now. The whole time I was making this, you were waiting for me so, to just turn my back. Sounds to me like Jim, the dog, isn't depressed enough. Yeah, he needs to be a little bit more yeah. sad, it sounds like. If you like that video, there's a ton more. Go check out our past videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.